figure shows a vertical pole PQ of height 10 meters. So P to Q, this entire vertical pole is 10 meter, which is held in position on horizontal ground by four ropes. So these are XD, XA, XB, XC. These are four ropes and they're tied to four points on the ground. The ropes are of equal length. So all the ropes, this one, this one, this one, and this one, these four, all the ropes are equal length. And we have this portion XQ. This XQ portion is 2.5. So XQ is 2.5 meter and PQ is 10 meter. So the points A, B, C, D form a rectangle on the ground. So A, B is 8 and B, C is 6. So this is sort of, it's a pyramid-like shape. So it is something like this. So we have this floor here, A, B, C, D, and we have this pole, some sort of a uh, pole, and we have wires over here or ropes. So this is what it looks like. So this is a pyramid shape, but it doesn't have the faces or planes of the pyramid. So the first thing that we have to find is find the length AX. So the length AX is this side over here. So obviously anything to do with the 3D sum, we have to form a right angle triangle and do the sum. So this is the right angle triangle that we need for finding AX. So we find this right angle triangle over here. This is X, this is Q, and this is A. So for finding AX, we can easily use this triangle. Now we already know what XQ is. So we can write XQ equals to 2.5. We already know what that the length is. Now what we need to know is AQ. Now AQ is this. This is on the ground. So AQ is the diagonal. We have to use the diagonal all the time on the floor. Remember from this angle it might not look like a rectangle. It might not look that all the angles are 90 degrees, but it's a perspective thing. If you take a look in the 3D and if I turn this around, from this angle it might look like a parallelogram. But if I turn this around and if you take a view here, this is, it's clear these angles are 90 degrees. So remember, it's all about perspective, from what perspective you're looking at it. So let's find the angle here, AC. So we can say in triangle. So in triangle ABC, AC squared equals to 8 squared plus 6 squared, which is going to be 64 plus 36 which is 100 therefore AC equals to square root of 100 equals to 10. I didn't write the plus minus square root because this is geometry it has to be positive. So now that we know what AC is AQ is going to be half of that this is going to be 2.5 and now I can do the sum in triangle AQX AX squared equals to 5 squared plus 2.5 squared this is 25 and 2.5 squared is going to be 2.5 squared is going to be 6.25, 6.25. So this will be 6.25 if we add it up. This will be 31.25, 31.25. Therefore, AX equals to square root of 31.25 and that answer should be square root of the, of the answer equals to 5.59017 so 5.59017 but the answer has to be in three significant figure remember that is very very important so ax equals to 5.59 and the unit is going to be in meter, otherwise you're going to lose the A1 mark in the exam. So this is question number A. Let's move on to question number B. Question number B, find the angle between the line AX and the plane ABCD. So here we go, angle between line and plane. Plane is the floor. So this is how it looks like. So if I remove this, if I remove this side over here, if I remove this side over here, if I remove this side over here, 
you can take a look the angle that we're looking for is this line and the base so that's the angle we're looking for so how do we find that angle is the angle with the diagonal if it puts here uh, if you have this rectangular shape and you have a pyramid uh, edge one of the edge of the pyramid the angle is going to be with the diagonal so that that's how it works so so all the way this is the diagonal and this is the line that we are talking about this this is another diagonal so if you want to find the angle with AX and the ground it is going to be with the diagonal this angle or if you want to find the angle between any other side with the ground that angle is going to be with that line and the diagonal so that's how it works so let's move on so this is going to be the triangle that we have already drawn previously we have already drawn this triangle uh, AXQ so the angle is going to be this angle over here so it's is the angle uh, X A Q. So remember, the angle is going to be with the diagonal on the floor. When we, whenever we want to find one of the side of the pyramid, so this angle is going to be Q A X. So let me write down the angle. So in triangle A Q X, since we're looking for this angle, we can write uh, tan angle X A Q equals to opposite this is 2.5 divided by the adjacent this is 5 therefore angle XAQ equals to tan inverse of 2.5 divided by 5 and that turns out to be tan inverse of 2.5 by 5 that is actually half so this is equals to 26.565 26.565 or the answer has to be the nearest uh, one decimal places so therefore angle between AX and plane ABCD is 26.6 degrees so that's question number B question number C we have to find the angle between the plane AXB so AXB and the floor ABCD so let me show you so how this can work now AXB is this and the floor is this so we have to find the angle between this plane so when you have to find the angle between the face Two, two of the faces. One face is the triangle of the pyramid. The other face is the rectangle on the ground. So the angle between the face is this. This is an isosceles triangle. So what you do, you take this one, you take the height over here, and then you take from here, from this point, you take the angle with this. So this is the triangle we're looking for. So we're looking for a triangle that this one right over here this is the angle we're looking for that is the angle between this one of the slant faces with the ground so it is the angle right over here we are again going to use the height of the pyramid and we know what BC length is if you take half of that so if you want to find the angle we can use the tan ratio opposite Batson so that's how we can find this so this is going to be so I'm going to take this triangle if I want to find AXB I'm going to take something like this. So this is X. This is Q. So this is X. This is Q. And I'm taking this some point over here. Some point over here like this. So that I'm looking for this angle over here. So this is, let me call this something uh, M. Let me call this M since it's the midpoint. So I know this is 2.5. And if this side is 6, then this is going to be 3. Remember, it would be a bit difficult to see it from here because the perspective is from a different point of view. But if you think of the 3D, how, how it is working, then it should be clearer. This is, this is how the picture is drawn in the book. And this is the angle that we are looking for. And if you look at the side, 
how the plane makes the angle. So this is this is the perfect view. It's a triangle, absolutely a right angle triangle over here. So this is this is what's written in the book. And if you find the angle, if you just take a look over here, so this is how you find the angle of one plane face with the ground in case of a pyramid. So that's what we do. So let's find this. So we can write uh, in triangle MQX tan angle XMQ equals to opposite 2.5 but by adjacent 3 therefore angle XMQ equals to tan inverse of 2.5 divided by 3 and that turns out to be so 2.5 divided by 3 and inverse of that tan inverse of that turns out to be 39.806 so the answer is therefore angle between plane AXB and plane ABCD is 39 point one decimal place 39.8 degree so question number D find the degrees to the nearest point one degree the acute angle between the planes DXB and AXC so DXB is here and AXC is over here so we have to find the angle between these two planes it's easier to understand if you visualize it so this is how it looks so we have DXB this plane over here and we have AXC this plane over here if you take a look so this is what it looks like and we have to find the angle between the two now which angle is it this angle or is it right over here this angle because these two planes either make angles over here or over there so you can find either either angle it doesn't really matter because after all they have mentioned what type of angle they're looking for they're looking for an acute angle whatever angle you find between them you just subtract it from 180 degree if it is more than 90 degree acute angle means less than 90 degree so so remember this is this is this is how we have to find it now if if you want to find the angle between two planes which is this is a bit irregular because usually what we have to find in pyramid times angle between a line and the base which we found already AX then angle between a plane and the base which we already found AX B and the base so this is at the end they give a question which is not that straightforward but usually almost always the answer is going to be a very simple angle so look here this is going to be the angle at the floor over here so the angle between this plane and angle between this plane is nothing it's the same as the angle here on the floor AQB or if you want to find this angle on the other hand BQC that's the angle we're looking for so remember that's the angle we're looking for so if we take a look over here if we find this angle now we already know what this side is this side is 6 and we know this side is 8 so this is an isosceles triangle because the diagonals so AC is the diagonal, uh, DB is the diagonal, so half of that diagonal. So we already know if you find from this triangle, if you find this and multiply by 2 and we know, so this is going to be bisected, this is going to be 4 and this is going to be 4 because it's an isosceles triangle and we know this is 3. If this is 6, this is going to be 2. Oh, we also can take this, we already know this is 5. So let me draw this triangle, this is going to be A. Q. So A Q B. So this is eight. So A Q is five. Let me write here N. So this is bisected because it's an isosceles triangle. So this is four. So in triangle A N Q. In order to find this, then I'm going to multiply by two. Uh, I can use sine angle AQN, AQN equals to opposite which is 4 and the hypotenuse is 5. Therefore, angle AQN is sine inverse 
of 4 by 5. So sine inverse of 4 by 5 is going to be, let me find 4 divided by 5 is 0 0.8. Sine inverse of that is going to be 53.13. 53.13. Therefore, the entire angle, this angle which we are looking for, angle AQB is going to be double of that, 53.13. That is going to be into 2, which is 106.26. 106.26. Now, this is the angle between the two planes, but the answer has to be acute angles. So all you have to do is when you write down the answer, so acute angle equals to 180 minus that. So let me subtract that. So 180 minus that, which is 73.7. 73.7. So the answer would be, therefore, the acute angle between planes is 73.7.